All right, captains, we're back. This one comes out of dates on the beach here. And if you like watching people load their boats, this one's going to do it for you. Now, this is one of those Tidewater 1910 Baymaxes right here. And I think this one's fresh off the shelf. Let's take a look. Now, smooth as he's coming in here, I almost decided to shut the camera off. But then I said, you know what? I better keep it rolling. Now, he's slithering around like a little snake right here, but ultimately gets it backed in pretty well. All right, I'm gonna give you about a 600 credit score right there. Backing in, that wasn't too, too bad. You did all right. All right, easy does it. We're just gonna untie it here and put it right on the trailer. That's it, right? Man, I feel a little bit bad because at the end of this video, I didn't realize that he left his ropes there. As you can see, he's untying them from the boat and then throwing them under the dock. And I believe they left them there. All right, here we go. Right on the trailer. Let's go. Nice and easy. God, we better not mess it up. <laughs> That's right. Otherwise, you're going to end up on credit card, Captain. Uh, the bunks are a little bit lower. I have the same trailer, very similar boat. Probably just needs to bring them bunks out of the water just about another foot. Now, they say the best time to go out and try out your new boat is during the weekday. It's usually pretty calm, not a lot of people, and you got the river to yourself. All right, here we go. Line it up. Got a little bit of a crab angle. Bam. All right. I love how these rollers here on the sides, those posts, they squeal like little dolphins. Now, but the front's a bit low. That's why I was saying he's got a little bit deep in the water there. He probably needs to come up eh, about another 12, 15 inches. He ain't going to make it. He sure is going to try, though. That safety chain ain't going to reach. You need about 10 more links in it. And if you're going to try and winch it up, you're probably going to need to go over that roller right there and get it on there. Because otherwise, you're just going to pull it right up underneath that. I don't know what to say here, except for I hope he ain't going to leave it like this. Damn, he's cranking that thing good. Everybody's going to ask him how to get them two snake bites up there on the front. Yeah, I got that same trailer. Uh, you got to put it like the bumps were the end, like right about here. That's where the water line is. When she uh, pulls it up, you'll probably I'll give an idea. Hey, pull it up and redo it. Right, right about there, right there. That's about it. Hold up, go back some. Now, I don't think she was real comfortable putting that truck in there and backing it back in, but they're going to get it on there and stick around. The show's not over yet.
Well, it's in the same position they were in before, but... Just a wee bit short, but that's better than being too deep. If you're still watching, don't go anywhere because we ain't done yet. Now these cranks will get you. They got three positions. They've got neutral, which lets you go forward and backward without the clicker going, and they got forward with the clicker going, and they got backward with the clicker going. All right, take it easy, man. Oh, wait. Well, that's how that goes. I think he went around the corner and strapped it. I don't know. Hope you guys appreciate this video. Try to cut it down as much as possible. See you guys again soon.